All right, so chances are this thing's gonna need a new AC condenser, but um, I don't know that for sure. And so today I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna straighten some fins and see if I can revitalize this thing a little bit. I'm gonna go to the to the little convenience store for a soda. You want a soda? Yeah. A Sprite or Dr Pepper or Coke or something. Mm -hmm. Zero, of course. Okay, be careful. Okay. Yeah, Fiona was <laughs> Fiona was getting me. What you seeing? I don't know. Bugs. Kaka. Jessica was just de lousing me there. Sometimes when you do this job, you got to use two, two scrapers. And you know, you got to be careful in here because this stuff is uh, fragile, fragile. And so the object is to kind of as straight as you can without destroy anything. Some of these fins are rotted a little bit because they've been laid over for too long. Uh, and they've collected up some particles and those particles have held moisture or whatever. It's gonna be a long job. I have just be only begun. There's a comb actually somewhere we bought one uh, one time when we were uh, antique store and you know somebody's dad probably died and their kids don't have any idea what tools are used for because you know kids these days don't know any of that stuff. And uh, anyhow, uh, they probably took that stuff, a whole toolbox, to the store and uh, gave it away, you know, for pennies on the dollar. But anyhow, I bought I bought one of those fin combs, but I don't know where I did with it. Um, might still be in the house, you know, because we, likely we were thrift storing or, you know, something when we were traveling and I was like, oh, that'd be cool to have in the shop. And then, you know, it, I brought it home and then it didn't make it out to the shop, which would be entirely my fault. I do it all the time, all the time forgetting losing stuff. I lost that title to that black trailer that I used to have, that step deck van trailer. I wish I would have kept it, but uh, I kind of panic sold it because I thought, well, I'm never going to be able to get it titled because I had no intention of uh, changing my residency to Georgia. And then all of a sudden I did. And I probably could have just got a title for that trailer. But anyhow, no sense crying over spilt money, spilt $100 bills. The object of these fins is they're a heat sink. And uh, air, of course, you know, air comes through this and it and it cools these heat sinks, and then those heat sinks draw more, uh, more heat, and it's a, uh, you know, it's a cooler. And what happens is, you just get all smashed up, and people touch them, and they, they put a new grill in or something, and they, you know, hit their knee on it, and it smashes it all up, and they never do anything about it, and then, the the condenser doesn't get 
cooled down and it doesn't turn that gas back into a liquid and then it can't evaporate in the evaporator and bing bang boom Bob's your uncle. So anyhow, if the fins aren't rolled over, they straighten right out. It's when they're smashed and rolled over that they don't straighten out with the poop. And then the job doesn't get done. You know, the air is not able to get through them. Uh, and the air getting through them is a vital, important role. Okay, that's um, me. That's yours. Yeah, and I also got you a cheat Nice. They had salt and vinegar, regular, and barbecue, and I just got the regular. <sighs> Where's my tools? Right here. So look. Cheat your own dispenser. Oh, they're going to fall. Uh-huh. The ones that are folded over, yeah. you gotta unfold them. Yeah. I only did this part so far. See? And you gotta make you gotta make a starting point. So these both are these are moved over this way and these are moved over this way. So this is a good place to start. And just get it picked back over. You know? And the ones that are rolled, like folded over, like this one right here. If there's, if there's a place to grab it, to flick it back open, flick it back open. Okay. See, like I just did there? Like you just did there? Yeah. We just start to a spot and, and start picking them back out. And the part that these go to, the tubes, are fragile. So you can't be put, you can't be rough on these tubes. Oh. Okay? You can only, you can only manipulate these fins. You want this one? Um, I don't know. This one's not bad. This one's gonna make your legs go numb. This one's gonna be fine for me. I actually prefer this one.
Yeah, this part is really horrible. Okay, I'm glad that we're finished. Don't forget your razor blade. You get me a little paint. What paint? I said I'm gonna go get me a little paint. Oh. Hey, you know, I only have just a smidge. Those like eating oils can get paint on them. You can get paint on them. It's like they always paint radiators, you know. Because I only painted from my side. Yeah. I'm going to run up paint before I even get this square done. Yeah, and from this side, it looks like I only painted half. Looks better than it did though, right? Man, that's horrible. That sucks. Can I, can I come up with any more? Nope. Can you get me a piece of cardboard or something so we can, I can paint inside that? Come on, don't be like that. Yep. Usually people do that when their speedometer ain't working. Or companies do it so that they have a more accurate. Okay, you hold it up and I'm going to paint it. Should I cover this orange and then green? Yep. Hold on. Watch your fingers, I don't want to paint you. Okay. Whoops. Oh no. Move. It's fine. Watch this arm. Okay. 
I don't know how. Can you hold it up here. Fingers quitting on me. Okay, let me move up. Oh, because it leaked. Yep. Don't get it on your blouse. It sneaks up on you, don't it, trucker? I heard his brakes, but his car or his truck was still moving. Yep. It's sliding in that wet. I mean, hold on, let me try to figure out how to get it. There it goes. Be careful in that corner. Okay. You gotta Move. get that top. No. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Now, last piece. Yep. Get it. <laughs> Oops, spread your hand. You got this one to go. Okay. Same, just, just use know. the same piece. I just want to make sure you didn't get the truck. I didn't. Okay. You gotta wait, come back. Get that right there a little better. Okay. Okay. Alright. All right, guys, got to be quick because my microphone's dying. But uh, there you have it. We got these all straightened out. We touched up the paint inside so it, you know, it looks a little better. We got a really nice grill for this thing. But uh, <clears throat> appreciate you watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out James Pretty Dot Shop. We'll see you. Hey, what's up, guys? So today I'm finally doing it. I'm going to put this beautiful... <laughs> shaking uh black widow in some resin for james um resin you need to be in a well ventilated area should be wearing gloves and a mask i have my gloves and i have my mask um and as soon as i get started i will change the camera angle turn on my fan put on my safety gear but we are going to put the spider in this oval. It will end up being this big. This is one of my June bugs, I think. I think that's a June bug, right? Um, except for the spider is not going to be on a pendant like this. It's just going to be the oval with a clear backing. That way, as it free spins, you can see the entire spider. All right, y'all. Let's do this. In case you're wondering, usually I put the entire bottles into like a big to-go cup of warm water but since I'm only using a little bit today, I'm just warming up what I'm using. It helps reduce air bubbles in the resin. That way, when it cures, it cures clear. Um, and there are 
there's less chance of like all those micro bubbles. Um, for an example, here is a wolf spider that I did. How crystal clear and pretty it is. And then this one is a pumpkin spider orb weaver that I did. It was colder out. I did not warm up my resin. It resulted in tons and tons of micro bubbles and like the outside isn't, it's like lumpy. So that's what we're trying to prevent today. Okay, I had to go get my, um, my spray alcohol to get any top bubbles and it helps keep them killed, <laughs> keeps them from coming back. Um, I am, ooh, oops, I am going to, goodness, put a layer of UV resin in the bottom and then get the spider's front legs, I think, to extend out. I need to figure out how to clean this out. Um, that way he's not curled up like this and he'll be splayed out better. I need to clean my little mold. It's got all kinds of <laughs> evidence of past lives. Okay, that's doing good. All right, so let's put a little bit in the center here. Come on, I'm almost out too, which is unfortunate. So then let that cure. Then it should be okay because I can move its legs. Um, I can move its legs out. Wow. Mama's got some long legs there. And I did notice that it is missing one leg which is unfortunate. Okay, we're gonna do something a little different. I'm going to glue its legs down on this piece of plastic and then flip it upside down. And put it inside the mold so I can get it. It's butt looks silky, it's kind of cool. Come on, flip over. He's like too side heavy. With all his legs on that one side. <laughs> Oh, I got these. What am I doing? Come on, flip over. You gotta get your little leg inside that little glue. Okay, don't hold on to the paper towel, please. Stay like that. Perfect. Okay, now let's splay out this other leg. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. Put this other leg forward. Okay. 
air. So in a sense, and wrong. So where is it? Spoiler alert, it was spectacle. Okay, now let's do all his other little legs or her. Oh, nice. Now my other resin is beautiful and good to go as well. That should be cured enough. Now we're gonna add a little tiny bit to our mold over here. So you wanna pour slowly too, um, because it helps reduce air bubbles. So now we're gonna cut the spider out. Can you see it? There we go. Look at that, so cool. Okay. I did mess up one of his legs is curled in more than all the others. <gasps> did his leg just move? Their, his legs aren't even attached to this. This plastic didn't even hold it. Don't lose a leg, don't lose a leg. Oh my God. So his one leg is like legit, just not stuck. And literally just flailing all about this piece of plastic. It's one little leggy dude. It's one little leggy. Makes me nervous. I don't want him to lose a leg. Okay, so it's gonna need more. Here we go. Trying to pick out little bubbles that are trapping beneath the spider's tummy. Okay. There we go.
Okay. Very nice. Well, there it is. It has some air bubbles under the plastic from when I was getting the big air bubbles out, but otherwise it's fine. We have to let it cure for 24 to 48 hours and then I'll let you guys know how it turned out. All right, guys, are you ready to see the final result? And here it is. Let's see, it's missing one leg, but it came out pretty clear. I'm really happy. Um, it's abdomen changed colors, which was weird, but there's only a little bit of micro bubbles like under the plastic, like I thought. Now I just have to let it cure a little bit longer and I already have the hole drilled, just attach the keychain and it is ready to go.